A mysterious hidden force is generating water on the moon. We know there's ice on the moon. What's less clear is where that ice came from. A new study suggests that waves of electron arriving indirectly from Earth and the Sun are contributing to the formation of frozen water on the lunar surface. These electrons hit the moon as it passes in and out of Earth's magnetotail, which our planet leaves behind as it rushes through space. And within the magnetotail is a plasma sheet made up of highly charged electrons and ions pulled from Earth's atmosphere and solar wind radiation from the sun. Scientists leave, uh, have previously looked at the role the magnetotail and the larger magnetosphere might play in lunar water formation. The magnetosphere is created at Earth's protective magnetic field rebuffs the sol sun's solar wind, creating a variety of effects in its wake. And this provides a natural laboratory for studying the formation of lunar surface water, says planetary scientist Shuai Li from the University of Hawaii at Manoa. When the moon is outside of the magnetotail, the lunar surface is bombarded with solar wind. Inside the magnetotail, there are almost no solar wind protons and water formation was expected to drop to nearly zero. However, remote analysis suggests that this is not the case. Earlier studies pointed to hydrogen ions from solar winds generating water on the moon, but it seems this water is still forming when the lunar surface is protected from solar winds inside the magnetotail. Other forces are at play, the researchers think, specifically electrons. One of the ways this might happen is high energy electrons reacting with the lunar soil, releasing tapped hydrogen that can then form water. In the magnetotail, there may be additional formation processes or new sources of water not directly associated with the implantation of solar wind protons, says Lee. In particular, radiation by high energy electrons exhibits similar effects as the solar wind protons. Further observations and experiments of the lunar surface are going to be needed to find out for sure, but it's an interesting proposal, one of many that scientists are looking into to try to determine where the moon's water first originated. And there are lots of reasons the source of water on the moon fascinates scientists, it teaches us more about its past, and also is vital in figuring out how we could live long term on the lunar surface. Altogether, this finding may, and my previous findings, the uh, uh, Lee says, of rusty lunar poles indicate that the Mother Earth is strongly tied with its moon in many unrecognized aspects, Lee said. This has been published in Nature Astronomy. This is on Science Alert by David Neald. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.